Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're gonna have unlimited power! Enjoy the video. Alright, so it's time to show off my uh, mage build! Haha, <laughs> so originally, uh, early on in the game, let's get into uh, skills. Uh, it was going to be focusing all on Lightning Blast. This is a very good skill to begin with, uh, as it, it can target multiple enemies. It's good at, like, clearing out groups. It does a decent amount of damage. And that, that was going to be the focus. Um, that changed as soon as we got Disintegrate, and it became our main DPS spell. But early game, Lightning Blast is really, uh, really good. Uh, Flame Ward is our defensive spell, so I definitely would say you want to spec into Flame Ward as soon as you can. As you can see, I originally uh, specced into Lightning Blast, but um, I quickly just went, this isn't doing as good as Disintegrate, so I removed Lightning Blast. Static, when you get it, it's very good. It kind of, it does like, uh, it depends on how you spec it, but you can like do it where if you get certain amount of charges, it can do some AoE damage when enemies come close to you. It's just a very powerful one-hit kill spell, but you have to move around to charge it up. Very good, because we are going with a lightning build, uh, so obviously this massively helps out. Uh, I went this route first off, like getting more stack shots so I can do uh, damage to additional enemies, uh, lightning damage. But I would say, first off, you want to get more charges and then go down this path and then go maybe this path. Uh, I did slightly check out overload and stuff like that and I, I wasn't too happy. This is more at the current build, more of a, like a like a def uh, a one shot kill if I'm getting overwhelmed. Uh, normally, disintegrate is just enough to kill everything, and this is more of a oh no, I I I can't stand there and disintegrate, so I'm just gonna static shot. Disintegrate is the main spell here. We did spec it and turn it into a lightning by going down this path. So, um. I do have a, a, a staff at the moment, and I have got idols and stuff that make me do more lightning damage, which is why Disintegrate is so powerful. Uh, you might not be able to find these items, but you can keep Disintegrate as a fire-based. I, I, for some reason, I changed Flame Ward to Lightning just so it can do some extra damage. Um, I also did turn this into Lightning. I probably, if I was going to redo this, and I might change it later on, just keep it as ice because it doesn't really matter, but back to disintegrate. So the whole point um, is you, is you, as you fire, you can go up tier. So this is basically like um, you now enter tier two. So the longer you're shooting, it can do more damage, but it costs more. But when, uh, if you've seen the footage at the beginning when I was screaming unlimited power and shooting everybody, it costs nothing. That's because I use this. Uh, no channel, no channel cost. Manage per second, uh, damaging enemies is 20. Essentially, it costs nothing. So, uh, I went originally this, and then I I set it up so both of these were ready. So, I put three into here, then one, and then once uh, that was done, specced into that. And then as soon as I could spec again, I'll put another point in, went straight into this. Uh, and now, I'm going into this path. Uh, I originally did set it up so well, as you're channeling, you do stand there and take some damage. You might want to go down here first. Also, just this straight up makes it so there's a tier 3. So the longer you're charging, you go into tier 2. And then you go into tier 3 where you do even more damage. Uh, this is still the base damage of tier 1. Uh, when it goes into tier 2, it's like 28k. K, and then when it's into tier 3, it's like 30 something k, like 35k. Um, this just makes it so you get the tiers faster, which is definitely useful. Uh, this just does extra damage, so I, I would say don't spec like I have down here. I don't know why I started putting down points down here. Uh, I would put those points over here first and then go down this route. Uh, you can set it up where store powered is. Um, when you shoot, there's a slight delay and then you start shooting and obviously you do more damage. Disintegrate is the main DPS spell, so I want to do as much damage as possible. Snap Freeze is more of another defensive spell. Uh, basically, it stuns the enemy, uh, except for if you go to Lightning, it doesn't really do that anymore. So I might despec those and go back into uh, Snap Freeze, where it just 
stops them. It's also nice, you can gain some additional armor. If they're all that close to you, you're probably taking a lot of damage, so... Yeah, I, I would say put Snapshot ar Armor on. Especially uh, at certain points in the game, you're going to be running into enemies that do a lot of elemental resistances. And spoiler alert, the final boss does a lot of different elements. So having something to gain boost armor and then also boost a certain resistance is good. But my overall snapshot is sort of stunned, so I have time to do more beam damage. Flame Ward is just pure protection. Don't worry about going down a damage path. I want Flame Ward to cost less mana and last longer. I want it to give me more ward. I take less damage, all that fun stuff. I don't. I kind of went down here to get the spark thing, but I probably would have. Yeah, I, I did it. Yeah, it was. I probably would just ignore this and focus on these. Um, percent missing ward and health. You can also do it where, if you get if you get stunned, flame ward triggers. Uh, so obviously I've got it here where I get stunned, flame ward triggers. You can also do it so it stores additional charges. You can now absorb damage while Flame Ward is active. You, there's there's lots of different paths you can take. Uh, I, I kind of just focused on getting some ward. But yeah, those are the main spells. Like I said at the beginning, I, I focused on Lightning Blast. And as soon as Disintegrate started just, just wrecking everything, I moved away from Lightning Blast and used Disintegrate, turning it into a Lightning spell. Um... I also, using Ice Barrage, it's just, it's a pretty cool spell. Uh, just does, uh, shoots ice sparks uh, where you're aiming at. And it's pretty good because it can actually curve around corners and stuff. Um, pretty nice spell. It, it's good when uh, certain bosses, you don't have time to just stand there. Uh, elite enemies, you do, but bosses, you might not. So it's nice to have a spell that kind of can just go around. But that's more, I'm not sure what I'm going to put there. I might try Arcane, uh... Arcane Ascendance, Black Hole. As you can see, I went Sorcerer. You don't nec um you don't necessarily need to go down Sorcerer because I, I I mean I am using Ice Barrage, but some of these also might be good. It just depends um, on what you want to do. It's all about elemental damage, so maybe Ruin Master might be better for this. Uh, but I I went down Sorcery Mastered. Um, I focused on Intelligence first. Then health and a little bit of this, increased coal damage, increased lightning damage, put three spells into that and then I did arcane lightning cast, but reality is I didn't really see any point to any of these. Uh, I did spec into that really originally and I, it's kind of entirely pointless. I'd rather uh, have like high health and mana and uh, intelligence rather than... Um, have this where your next spell does so much more damage because honestly I, I'm doing what I'm I, I need more survivability rather than doing a bit of extra damage and along here I, I did a lot of respecking but I put more points into intelligence and then also put more points into mana and armor uh, ward retention I kind of went straight down to here because I wanted more lightning so obviously we're doing a lot more lightning damage and we have also have more chance to shock which is like an dots over time. Lightning penetration and lightning damage leads to life is one of our ways of surviving. Then finally I went um, more intelligence. I also put more vitality because my intelligence is obviously I got 16 points just from this along and I didn't really have much vitality and obviously boosting vitality uh, increases your resistance to neurotic and poison which I don't have much resistance on. And then over here element was uh, uh, ascendance I have more resistances and increase elemental damage and increase stun chance with elemental spells. That's cool. Uh, I might go start focusing in back into vitality because the resistances I've gotten from my idols. But I, I think I'm just going to be focusing on these three for now. Um, and then, you know, we've got stuff like health plus A, increased spell damage. We can go down this route. Or uh, increased elemental damages and resistance. This... This is probably where I'm going to go next, is before we get that, because I am all about elemental damage, doing lightning and stuff. Uh, as for equipment, uh, this is this is what's doing all the work. 90% uh, increased spell damage, 132% increased lightning damage, and plus 47 spell damage, and 61% increased damage over time. Yes, Disintegrates is a damage over time spell. It's also a lightning spell. Basically, this stuff goes... Um, 
disintegrate go boom. Like if I take it off, you can see that disintegrate is now doing 20k less damage. 20k less damage. I uh, also found managed to found some really nice armor that, as you can see, this staff is doing all of the work. This piece of armor is purely there just for plus 200 armor and car speed. Uh, that That's pretty... It's, these boots are really cool because I can just move around whenever something dies. It's grey and it also gives me plus one to intelligence, slightly more damage. And also this gives me like void resistance and coal resistance and and, uh, and more mana and health. So that's that's useful. But really, it's this yellow staff that I've upgraded that does a lot of the work. And a lot of these idols at the moment are just based on what resistances I need. Uh, as you can see, my resistances... My, my elemental resistances are quite high because obviously I'm going down the path of elemental resistance and more elemental damage. So I can rely less on needing resistances on armor and from these totems. But obviously my health is low. So, um, my vitality points is only 6. So my poison and neurotic at base level are quite low. And that, that's fine. We're going to we'll eventually turn to I'm going to get more points in vitality moving forward for a little bit. So that will increase those resistances. Basically, uh, you know, I, I'm switching out my resistances on idols based on what resistances I need for the area. Right now, I'm in an area that does cold damage. So obviously, my cold is at 75%. As soon as I'm in an area that does poison, I would switch out a lot of these um, elemental resistance stuff to obviously poison. I have this idol over here, which is like increased lightning damage. That, that's many what the ignore the minion lightning damage it's all about just 15 percent increased lightning damage and there's a three percent increased lightning damage as well which is really helpful the sun 63 stun avoidance is pretty good um but yeah let me know what you think in the comment section down below uh, right now i'll be showing off some gameplay of me just continuing to disintegrate stuff so the main strategy is disintegrate flame ward if there's a load of enemies or they're doing a lot of damage to you flame ward is going to give me a load of shield or i mean a load of ward about 400 ward and obviously i can retain 91 of it i've got the snap freeze that will also increase my armor so i take less physical damage um my ice barrage is just designed for bosses so if i can move around it i may switch it out for a black hole i may not and static is basically um, my one-shot kill move in case disintegrate isn't enough or the boss is like doing a lot of damage. I can just run around, static it, disintegrate occasionally just to do some extra damage and then static. But for most enemies, disintegrate is just going to wipe the floor of them. I'm going to be focusing on health, like I said, to uh, focus on vitality and resistances and elemental damage for the rest of my build. So that I can increase my disintegrate. And it's static also, you need to charge it up. So you need to walk around. And the more charges you've got, the more damage it does. I have 200 charges on this. So it does about 25k in one hit. Which is pretty good. It, most elites will just die from it. Uh, it will take a good chunk of the boss's health. Disintegrate obviously also does 25k damage. But it does it per second. So... A lot of time you have to stand there for a couple of seconds and you may not have that chance especially if a boss does an attack or is targeting you you might need to move so static is just the backup overall I i'm enjoying this build uh more than i thought and when i started playing the sorcerer i was sort of like eh, this is okay but finding that yellow staff that just had all the right stats was just insane so Basically, that the yellow staff is is more powerful than most legendary <laughs> items I've got. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think again in the comments section down below. This has been my unlimited power sorcerer build. Um, moving forward, obviously, I'm going to be. Uh, I've said this three times, so I'm just repeating myself. So sorry about that. But yeah, just blast them away with your lightning blast, your Kamehameha, uh, special beam cannon, whatever you want to call it. Um, spirit gun, spirit shotgun, um, Detroit smash, just name any anime beam attack, um, and that's it. Uh, so, f goodbye everyone, and subscribe for more early game, well, actually I'm going to be moving to late game builds soon, so, uh, 
subscribe for that, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go.